Okay, I think we can continue. Now, our next speaker is Kainan Zhang, uh, with, uh, uh, with a report on metallographic structure recognition with few samples based on meta transfer learning. Okay, you're welcome. I'm Kainan Zhang from from North Northeast University in China. Mm. I'm I'm pleased to bring my uh, pa pa paper metallurgic structure recognition with a few samples based on meta transfer learning. First, introduce some background. Well, uh, I will introduce my work from the following four aspects. One, background. Two, um, method. Three, experiment. Uh, last one, conclusion and uh, further work. So, first, uh, introduce some background information. Two aspects. One, the information importance of uh, metallographic uh, structure analysis to challenges in metallographic uh, structure research. Metallographic uh, an structure analysis is an important um, method for studying matter materials, which has a crucial role in uh, material science. Many studies have shown that the uh, macro uh, sco scopic uh, characteristics of uh, metal uh, materials are determined by their microstructure, such as uh, uh, tensile strength, uh, elongation, hardness, uh, plasticity, and so on. Uh, analysis and the study of the metallographic structure combined with the um, manufacturing process and the material properties can provide the theoretical basis for research researchers to guide the production and the development of new materials. However, the metallographic structure is identified and evaluated by experts, and then it is connected with the technology con conditions and the material properties. The actual of the results is greatly affected by human uh, factors. Moreover, the metallographic structure date is filled, which requires a large number of, uh, of experiments to obtain, which is a time consuming and uh, labor-intensive uh, project, uh, bringing huge uh, difficulties to production and research. So um, for all the questions that we just talked about, how to apply AI technology in metallographic uh, structure analysis uh, has become a hot research issue at the pre present. Um, no, uh, next, uh, a presentation of the current state uh, the, of research. The metallographic uh, structure uh, recognition is the uh, uh, premise and the foundation, uh, foundation of uh, metallographic structure analysis. Uh, it is the core and the key of uh, automatic uh, quantitative uh, analysis. At present, uh, scholars have done some relative work, such as use traditional uh, machine learning methods, uh, methods for recognition. But uh, these methods need to combine expert uh, experience for feature extraction. Human uh, intervention will uh, lead to the loss of some information and low efficiency, uh, reducing the actors of recognition. Uh, with the development of uh, computer image recognition technology, um, 
many researchers uh, use computer uh, aided uh, metallographic analysis of identify and uh, quantity uh, quantify uh, metallographic structure features. However, the above methods identify um, relatively simple. Uh, there is a little research on how to make uh, identification of uh, metallographic structure with many uh, types. Uh, Um, types, um, many, uh, many types of uh, uh, complexity uh, field and uh, unbalanced uh, uh, data sample, which is a certain challenge. Uh, therefore, we need to uh, use, use the, we use the um, matter uh, transfer learning method for uh, metallographic structure uh, uh, recognition. Uh, well, before the, uh, the, uh, describing the methods, I will introduce traditional machine learning and uh, uh, matter uh, learning. Uh, for traditional machine learning, the training unit is sample data, which is used to optimize the model uh, parameters. The left side is a conventional objective uh, function. Uh, D, uh, sample data. Uh, is a model parameter. About uh, matter learning, its uh, training unit is a task, which is uh, uh, divided into training tasks and uh, test uh, tasks. And the date of each task uh, include uh, support and query data. Uh, the purpose of uh, the training task is to learn better hyperparameters file. And the last, uh, uh, and uh, the test task is to train the special task through phi to determine the model uh, parameters data and get the more suitable model uh, for the specific, uh, specific uh, task. Based on this, um, math learning is divided into a metric based learning, a model based, optimization based. So after uh, understand the um, matter learning, we apply it to uh, material sets to uh, identify metallic graphic, graphic uh, structures with a few samples and uh, adopted uh, transfer learning. Look at the picture. Uh, look at the picture. Um, math learning include uh, math learning include three stages. Uh, large scale pre-training, uh, math learning, and uh, fine training. First, the self-supervised loss is used to uh, print in the features of benchmark data sets uh, to obtain the feature uh, MacBoon. Then we use the uh, ProNet. Uh, ProNet is uh, a few short learning. Uh, use a pronet loss in met learning to uh, conduct a meet training on the feature for few uh, sample tasks of labeling uh, simulation so that it can quickly adapt to a uh, few tasks. Finally, the feature backbone after met training is developed on the new uh, few short task on the net network structure and the parameters are functioned according to the enhanced uh, uh, data set so that the final recognition model can achieve the desired effect. Um, for the uh, few short learning, uh, we use the pro protonet. It is a mainstream um, method for meta learning. It's a metric-based learning method. Uh, by constructing the feature mapping uh, fun foundation F5. ProtoNet maps the uh, sample data of uh, uh, dimension D to the space of dimension M and uh, extracts their mean value to represent it as the primitive form CK of this class. Meanwhile, uh, using concern dis uh, distance as a distance metric, uh, protonite uh, 
protonate translated of this class to be the closest uh, to the primitive form representation of this class, uh, while being far away from the primitive form representation of uh, other classes. The training process is to uh, minimi minimize the objective function by a stochastic gradient uh, descent. Meta uh, testing stage. So softmax is uh, performed on the consign uh, distance between the test, test date and the original date of each class to determine the class label of the test date. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, the third part is uh, experiment. Uh, first, uh, data uh, description. Uh, the limited struct image we obtain for, uh, from uh, academic, uh, academic papers. Uh, there, these are, uh, look at the picture. Um, there, uh, these are potential features of uh, metallographic uh, structure data. Uh, due to the obtained uh, metallographic uh, structure data being filled, we made a manual uh, selection and uh, dropping name dropping, uh, named uh, MEM25. And the data size con uh, con contains uh, about 335 images in a total of 25 types. Among them, uh, individual metallographic structure image, uh, only a few maps uh, to uh, facilitate uh, tra training. Uh, set the size of the image is uh, 224 uh, pixels. Uh, we randomly uh, divided uh, 20 times of uh, MEM 20 to 25 with this size, uh, training uh, 50, uh, validation five, testing five. Then uh, we um, conducted the two sets of experiments, where mixed data include uh, C4S and MEM 25, MEM 25. Uh, the different the between two experiments is that during the uh, MET training force, we use the different uh, uh, data sets. First, for the mixed sample experiments, uh, MET training uh, data is uh, CIFAR FS. It can be seen from uh, table one. Um, for uh, PN and uh, FT, PN is a uh, protonet, FT is a uh, fanturning. Uh, the result is 75.63%. So protonet with the uh, fanturning has a higher recognition accuracy than without the fanturning. Uh, the experimental results show the effectiveness of the fanturning method in the MET test stage. Then, for the MEM24 samples experiment, uh, we consider uh, red boxes from table one and table two. Uh, table two, the accuracy is 97.72%. Uh, uh, higher than table one. So, image features uh, then be expected we learned by using the same data sets for training. And the uh, previous knowledge learned in the training process can be effectively utilized to obtain higher accuracy in the testing process. Then about uh, blue boxes, no pre-training process. The result of red night 18 is higher than red night 15. Um, because of the large number of red night uh, 50 network parameters, it's easy to overfit. Third, um, third experiment uh, compared, uh, compared with the proto net without uh, uh, pre training. Look at the uh, table two uh, yellow boxes. 
we found the experimental result is lower than proto with you know, pre uh, training and proves the effectiveness of pre training. Finally, we use a finally experiment uh, compared with the traditional proto net. And the results are shown in uh, table three. Uh, the accuracy of uh, uh, tradi traditional proto net uh, is uh, 65.47%. Uh, 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 finally, um, a so, uh, summarize of work briefly. Uh, for the pro uh, problems of uh, metallographic structure of uh, metal uh, materials, such as uh, multi types, complexity, uh, fill and uh, unbalanced data samples, we use mental transfer learning for metallographic structure identification. Uh, we introduce the uh, transfer learning and uh, combined uh, with uh, meta learning to identify metallographic uh, structure with a few samples. Uh, in the meta testing stage, we use fine tuning method to optimize the feature backbone to improve the recognition accuracy. Metal transfer learning can guide production and the development of new uh, materials. Uh, about uh, further work, first the analysis of uh, metallographic structure from the uh, topological uh, perspective. Uh, it uh, can effectively capture um, topological information of high uh, dimensional data space and is good at uh, uh, discovering some uh, small uh, categories that cannot be found by traditional methods. And two, optimization uh, method is used to optimize the meta learning and improve the learning precision and uh, efficiency. Mm, finally, uh, this is my our team. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, are there any questions from the audience? Okay, yes, please. Can I ask you? So you showed that you did training, then validation, then testing. What is the difference between validation and testing? So validation and oh. testing, what's the difference? Uh, validation is a, a training uh, a process. Mm -hmm. uh, for training is a testing uh, process. Okay. Um, I have a small question. Um, I, I think you used uh, SEM analysis, right? Uh, experimental samples were analyzed using scan electron microscopy, right? Then uh, if you do such analysis, you can also use uh, EPMA analysis, which allows you to obtain the, an automatic regime. You can obtain the composition of each particle, if the particle is larger than, uh, let's say, three micrometers. And this could give you additional data. Have you done such analysis? Sorry, uh, okay, we can discuss it later. I don't understand. Okay, we can discuss it a bit later. Okay. 